As night falls in Beijing, one of the best things tourists can do is head out for a food tour. Okay. Hey Tripsters! Hello! Welcome to a new video! So today we're in Beijing doing a food tour with the highest rated uh, tour company on TripAdvisor. They've been rated number one and number two for their yeah. tours. Yeah, their tour in Xi'an and one of their tours here in Beijing. And today we are doing the four provinces tour with them. So we're actually outside our first restaurant. We're gonna go inside in a second and we're gonna see what they have. Uh, this is a Xinjiang restaurant. Yes, and it's gonna be good because Xinjiang food is just amazing. We just walked out of the Xinjiang restaurant where we started with our first meal. We had a lot of different food. I think my favorite was the fried mushroom. Yeah, and I like the uh, meat dish with the potatoes. Obviously, that was really tasty and it's a specialty of the Xinjiang restaurant, uh, especially that one. Um, oh so yeah, there was an interesting story to that about how it came about. It was originally a noodle dish and then they started to add more things to it to make it more uh, flavorful. Right, and so as they added more things, it obviously became a, a bigger dish. But we're about to jump in the van and go to the next one, so uh, hopefully uh, we can get some good shots over there and uh, keep this tour going. Yeah. <laughs> no, no slowing down. No. We just went on a little ride in our vans. We have private vans. Oh, well, I get my photo taken. <laughs> um, and we are now at the next restaurant. It is a Yunnan cuisine restaurant. I don't know yet what we're gonna eat here, but I heard good things about it. The guy was really excited. So let's go inside, it's right behind me, and see what they have for us. <laughs> we just walked inside, it looks really cute here. Yes. We are stuffed already. I'm already full. We have two more places to go. 
So uh, this was the Yunnan restaurant. Yes, and uh, by far the best dish were those potatoes with peanuts. Oh my god. Yeah, and so the main dish was a noodle dish, and it was uh, okay. Yep. It had a chicken broth. I wasn't super fond of it, but it was good, if that yeah. makes sense. And it's a really good dish, actually, for like a day as today, where it's cold and windy and winter is here. You want to warm up. Yeah, and it had a pretty cool story behind it, so yeah. it's crossing the bridge noodles. This restaurant was pretty good. We're ready to go to the next one, and uh, keep coming that, with us. Yeah, and I think we're going to keep it local this time because we're staying in Beijing. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so the yeah. next restaurant is a Beijing one, so maybe we'll have duck. duck? Maybe? I don't I'm know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep see. watching we'll and see. find out. <laughs> Chinese feel, feel like 60s, 70s, so definitely a good spot. <laughs> now back out. And now back out. Down this little hutong. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we didn't lose the group. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> but this is actually a place where people live. Um, yeah, you probably can't see me. Nope. But there are doors. Into people's houses. Both sides into people's houses. Oh, what's this? What is it? I have no idea. It looks suspicious. Oh, it's probably pork penis. Yeah. Pork penis? <laughs> The foreskin of a pig. Oh. <laughs> oh, those are good. Oh, those little. little balls. Yeah, I they know. soak up all the yeah. hot pot. So where are we actually? We're in a. We're in a hot pot. Oh, so we're in a Sichuan place, a yeah. Sichuan restaurant. And Sichuan is famous for the spicy, spicy food. And we're gonna have hot pot, which is also what Sichuan is famous for. And do you like hot pot? Yeah, in general, I'd say do I do. I like, like hot pot. Yeah, do you like hot pot? No. <laughs> well, I do not like hot pot. Why not? I don't like boiling all my food in spicy, spicy spices that end up just being spicy or eating pig brain. I see the pig brain over here. Where? What's the pig brain? <laughs> right here. Oh, is that the pig brain? Yep. Whoa. Oh. Well, there, yeah. <laughs> But I do have to say that it is a dish that you should try, and since we're doing the four era, like provinces or whatever, it, it is a very unique flavor, and it is a very unique uh, type of cuisine, and it's very popular here in China. Lots of people like it, so you should try it, and it's a good addition to this tour. Yeah. Even if I don't like it. <laughs> I am um, last pot, hot pot, quillex. I like quillex, and then here is a cup of soy milk. Because I just learned that the people in Sichuan and Chengdu believe that like the soy milk calms your stomach and takes away from the spice that you're eating. Because they love their spicy food, so let's try that out actually if it works. Oh, it's very hot. <laughs> you always do this. I always do it. <laughs> I always do it. <laughs> How is it though? Too hot. Uh, well, that's hot, hot. <laughs> I just broke my tongue. No, that's spicy. But yeah, I did break my tongue every time. I know, right? I'm breaking this while I'm well. I know, but the soy milk after that. Um, no, I wouldn't drink soy milk right with it. It seems like an odd combination. Even if it's spicy, I would just drink some water, maybe. But hey, you gotta try it. If this is the way to do it. Uh, but yeah, I'll try this one in a moment when it's cool up a bit. 
All right, so we're finishing up here. We went to four different places, yeah. um, and we tried four different types of cuisine. Yeah, representing four different provinces. Which were Yunnan, Sichuan, Xin, Xin, Xinjiang, and Beijing. And Beijing, yeah. yeah. Which one did you like most? Um, I would I say the Xinjiang, Xinjiang and Beijing Yunnan. were the best for me. You know, the potatoes and the you know, Oh, well, those so potatoes good. are really good. I think that's good. putting it up yeah. top. But, yeah, but the, the Beijing, Beijing meat was pretty good, too. Yeah, and yeah. the location of the Beijing It was one. cool, Like, yeah. the decoration of it was like really nice. Like a mouth kind of style. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you are on the Trans-Siberian uh, or the Trans-Mongolian and you're ending in Beijing, check out the Lost Plate because they are one of the best rated uh, tour groups in the world. Yes. Um, and if you check in the description... Yes, we have something really nice for you. We have a discount code. So, if you use the discount code that is in the description box below, you'll get a discount. You'll get you a little book, bit off. Yeah. yeah, when you book on the Lost Plate website. So if you're here in Beijing or in Xi'an, Shanghai, or anywhere else where they do their tours, you can use that discount code mm -hmm. and get discount. Yeah, and so I hope you guys enjoyed this food tour. It's a little bit different because we were in restaurants, so it wasn't street food, uh, but it was pretty cool and yeah. it was worth checking out. So check it out. And if you want to see some breakfast foods, check out our Beijing breakfast tour. I'll link it in the description or in the cards or on the end screen somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, well, 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 well. Don't forget to subscribe and exactly. see you in the next video. All right. Bye.